Oh, wow. Did I win? Yes. What's up, Jamers? It's the one, Jam, and today we're playing four color vehicles. Yes, it's a Mardu shell splashing green for a Seekus chariot, and let me show you how this deck works. We are having a, an aggressively slanted mid-range deck with a combo element to it. We have Grease Fang Okiba Boss, which at the beginning of our combat, we return a vehicle back to our battlefield from the graveyard with haste. So we're going to be building on off of a vehicle discarding strategy with vehicles such as Reckoner Bankbuster, Asika's Chariot, and Surge Hacker Mech. So that leaves us at eight vehicles total to discard off of Voldaren Epicure Blood Tokens, Professor of Symbology Learning, Blood Tithe Harvester Blood Tokens, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker Chapter 2 discard up to two cards, draw that many. Uh, we, we have a mid range shelter to play some removal spells as well, like Blood Chief's Thirst, Vanishing Verse. Blood Tithe Harvester could also be a removal spell. Meat Hook Massacre. Um, even Search Hacker Mech is a removal spell in itself. So I really like this deck. The fact that it can just play a mid-range deck and also have this like combo win the game element to it is really strong. And we're going to try to see if we can turn three Grease Fang into Isika's Chariot out of the graveyard, make two cats, and the Isika's Chariot has haste. So it'll be three cats and they take four damage on turn three. And Isika's Chariot goes back to the hand to make even more cats the next turn. So it's... When this goes off, it's absolutely busted and you win the game. Um, but also, you can just win the game by happening, by playing just a general mid-range strategy. So, hope you like it. About 60% of you are not subscribed. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of this content. And hit the like button to help the almighty algorithm. Thanks for hanging out. And it all starts right now. I'm going to discard Reckoner Bankbuster to try to draw a Grease Fang. Play around Jawari. Get environmental. Well, that was strong. I think Graveyard Trespass is more important than environmental here. I'm gonna do this for green and hold up Deadly Dispute, I think.
on it. Wow. This card Jawari. Okay, I get to kill Wolf. Guaranteed. Why do why do the control decks always always draw test of talents? Like I don't even think the card's good. You're gonna play against Mono White and just lose the game. Like it's not good. I'm telling you. Gotta get rid of this. Probably should have played Epic here first, though. Delphal Mastery. If I played Epic, if I played Epic here first, I could have I could have done the Chariot so that I'm minus four damage. Pog. Just kidding, not Pog. It's really good if you can loot it away. Well, th they can't loot it away. Unless they're playing Kaido. But I could have got four damage in, unfortunate, if I played this first. So if I lose the game and they're at four or under, then that's on me. They got my Den of the Bugbear that they can't activate. I need to draw any any anything that puts a creature on board. Ah! It wouldn't be me if I didn't just draw mono lands, right? I mean, even the siphon, even their siphon insight got to land off the top for me. What if can't hurt? That's the thing, though. They're probably playing a one of, and they it always punishes us. The one of literally always they draw it, and it it's always good. But even then, it's not even really that good. Like it could just be any other card and be so much better. Like, negate. Like, why does it have to be Tessa Talents? Negate's so much better. I got my Vanishing Verse. Of course I drew a land. Oh. My. Absolute God. No, the Kodos got my Vanishing Verse. This is a different card. Oh, it's a Chariot. Oh, sick. 
Ah, this is so frustrating. Give me Meat Hook Massacre. Give me anything. Thank you! I don't have anything to copy with Chariot, but... Give me Vanishing Verse. That's a card. And I guess I shouldn't attack with Chariot right now. Because if I do, then it just dies. I guess if it dies, I get it back. Alright. So I go to 16, they go to 16. I don't want their land. Well, that's if they attack with it. If they attack with their land, they can't use Memory Deluge. I think they're just digging for removal for Grease Fang. Weird they're casting all these cards main phase, though. Card? Probably good enough just to mitigate the life. card. Can't cast it, though. You're gonna give me my chariot back? Freaking sure. Can that card in their in their exile be, be my meat hook? I guess it could be. Plus they could have their own. But if Okay. At least I can kill Kodos. Ow. Alright, 
Give me Grease Fang off the top, please. Not it, but not bad. This comes down and kills the Kodos. And then I can still attack them with the Bank Buster this turn. And this kind of, like, makes them not... If they have a removal spell, it means they're not using Siphon Insight, which ties up their mana, which I like. Go down to 10. Deluge. Good card. They're going to look for another Sweeper. If they find a march here, it's going to be really bad for me since they have so much mana. They did not find a sweeper. And they didn't kill Reflection. Weird. Okay, they have two removal spells. Alright, that's fine. I have a Bank Buster. Should be okay. That, that's the card they had for you, Professor. They have Learn Package cards? Yes. Better say it than sorry. Okay. That's not bad. This does this, and then I can vehicle chain. Or I can attack with the 5-5 five, five menace, and they're at 10. Yeah, with Siphon Insights and stuff like that, then, and Kodos, then they definitely, for sure, should have Blessing cards on their board. Alright, they can't kill me with their Creature Lands. They play a Mascot. Um, Vanishing versus bad, bad top deck. 5-5. Five, five. They're attacking me? Okay, I, I guess I can see the attack. Getting in range of two attacks with the Hall. Surge Hacker? Wow. They're not dead, right? Negate. The gate as their last card is pretty brutal. Phoenix Rose, how's it going? Okay.
I'm behind, but God, if they didn't have that negate, I'd be in such a better spot. Double haul. Whoa. Ah. They keep taking my chariots. If it's just my luck, I draw land. See? Without fail. Land. That's a card. Pretty sure I'm still dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. If they have one untapped land, I die. Which means I shouldn't draw a card yet. I should wait to block with the one one in combat. If they if they do draw the land. They're not going for it. Which means they didn't draw land? So many creature lands. Alright, so if I draw a card off Bankbuster here, I can actually kill them with Surge Hacker mech, mech if I draw any creature. Alright, any creature. Come on! Any creature. Not a land, 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 not a land. They can also have a removal spell. All right. Bank Buster. Not awful, not awful. Oh my god. All right. Do I... Okay. Can I win? That's why you follow the stream. That's why you subscribe. Okay? That's why you follow. That's why you subscribe. A little unfortunate that they don't have untapped black mana here, but it is what it is. Flame. Well, there it is. Untap black mana. I kind of want a deadly dispute this turn. So I can possibly draw a Kiba boss and or a vehicle and discard it. 
Shadow Skull Charger. That has trample. That goes back to hand, unfortunate. Am I discarding a card here? Probably. No, I kind of want to, like, Deadly Dispute this and Vanishing Verse. Maybe? Oh, it has a one more counter on it, so it doesn't go back to hand. Really interesting. I'm, I'm just going to go to my turn. Ooh. A chariot. I mean, I could just cast Chariot. I think I might just cast Jariot. Like, Jariot can block the Shadow Skull, go to the graveyard, and then I can get it back with Grease Fang if I draw it. I'll have two shots at it, too. Unless I just play, like, play Fable or these two next turn. That's a Fable. I think I'm blocking this. Let's not give them those draws. And then we'll just try to draw Grease Fang to bring the chariot back. Akanuma. I guess they bring the Blood Sky Berserker back. Oh, that is legendary, so this is three mana. Bring out the volat Volatile Arsonist. They already have one, got it. Alright, this is definitely getting blocked. I think I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this Blood Token. Try to draw a Grease Fang. That's not it. That is also not it. Wow, I have five lands in hand. I guess we're going to get to block the Volatile Arsonist and discard two cards from Fable if nothing else happens here. Hopefully they don't cast two spells this turn so Blood Sky doesn't become a 3-3 menace. Isn't that what this does? Yes. Please don't cast a spell. Crap. Do you think I'm triple blocking, I guess? Can't really afford for this Volatile Arsonist to, like, get out of hand here. And I guess I could just, like, double block the Berserker, take five. That's not good, right? Take that, Volatile Arsonist. Does channel take count as discard? Yes. I'm pretty sure. 
Grease Fang. There it is, my lovely child. Oh, this is actually busted. Right? This is busted. I can go Grease Fang. Start of combat, get me my chariot back. Then I can use this. Attack. Give me another one of uh, these. They don't block. And then Surge Hacker Mech, since I have another vehicle, does damage equal to twice the amount of vehicles. If I deal four damage to Blood Sky Berserker, get wrecked. And then this comes back to hand, and I have the green metal in my hand that I did not discard. And scoop. Nice. The science might not be good enough against our mono white opponent, though. We do have some tools here. It's just a matter of, like, do they play Thalia, Elite Spellbinder, Raidane type cards? I mean, Raidane's going to be, like, really tough because I have Medic Massacre in hand. But if they don't have Thalia, Spellbinder, Raidane type cards, they should be okay. Spellbinder's especially good against me. Because it, it make it exiles my cards that I want to discard, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need them to calm down. Attack me! Don't play anything else. Thank you very much. Paladin class, that's fine with me. Don't play another one drop. Perfect. Okay, so we do this, and do we play Blood Tithe? Or do we play Fable? Fable actually gets a gets like apparition before we can discard a card, so I think we just go Blood Tithe Harvester here to play around Skyclave apparition. It's also a blocker. I guess the two two is also a blocker anyway, but it's okay. We got this. If they have Skyclave here, it's Omega 5 Head Big Brain Large Large Brain Wrinkle Brain. That is a Paladin class. If they attack, I'm just gonna block. I don't care about this Blood Tithe Harvester. Okay, care about this Blood Tithe Harvester? Yeah, no, I don't. And then our opponent is going to weep. Incoming opponent weeping. Weep, opponent. Read it and weep. Read it and weep. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to come out of nowhere like that, did ya? Did ya? Didn't think I was going to start this turn with a bunch of creatures, did you? Aha! The Spellbinder. we didn't want them to have. They take my meat hook. I don't want to use that anyway. I'm going to attack because they might block. 
That's a good way to get rid of Elite Spellwinder. What they don't know is I have another, I have another Grease Fang in my hand. Okay, so as long as they don't have Elite... Uh, if they don't, as long as they don't have, like, Skyclave Apparition, we're broken. We get to discard both Chariots. Oh, that's not a Skyclave. Okay, can I draw, like, Vanishing Verse, please? Vanishing Verse would be absolutely busted. Nuts, I tell you. Oh my gosh, we actually drew it! We we drew this and the white source for Grease Fang. We are absolutely phenomenal. Oh yes. Wow. Wow. This hand's really weird, but like I have the tools. Slothful Puppy. Roiling Vortex. What? Oh, wow. Do I win? Yes! I will draw a red or a black mana for this. Hold you. Well, we're playing against the Counterspell deck and Rules spell deck, so we're probably not going to be able to win. Uh oh. Well, that's better for us. But now I think we might actually win. I mean, they could still have Mita. They can they can meet up for three and then we just die almost. That's not Meat Hook. I'm like one off of lethal here. Just because they gained the life. <laughs> That's funny. And before Wandering Emperor. Alright, so now I think I just like... Pass? Force them to do something?
All right, Pendle, what you got? This is one of the advantages of this here, of this deck, is that it just, like, wins the game with this combo most, some of the time. Most of the time, actually. But then sometimes, when you don't have the combo, it just wins by just having an aggressively slant mid-range deck with disputes and verses and stuff. Wow! They did not exile artifacts. Well, that bodes well for us. We get to do this and Fable. And then they might have to sweep again. They do get to, to loot here and go to six, but I think that's fine. And then we get to loot our chariots away, or like a chariot and a land. Kaido, well that's good for us. There are many secrets I don't know. But not for long. Make a blocker. <laughs> we can vanishing verse that. Could be a wandering emperor. Wow. How about three Vanishing Verses in hand? And Scoop! Sick. Freaking... Wandering Emperor, Test of Talents, draw a card off the Bank Buster, and then draw two, draw two again. Wow. Opponent. I mean, this isn't. This is not. I. This is ideal. If my opponent's also not disconnected. Oh, they're not disconnected. Because now I can discard the chariot with this land, and then go land grease thing, bring back the chariot, and go pop champ. Thalia? You think I care about Thalia? This deck doesn't care about Thalia until it does.
that a good turn three, chat? A pretty good turn three. On it? Earth to opponent. The Earth is waiting. This returns to my hand to be discarded later on. It's really good to have like a constant stream of discarding cards though, so you can keep discarding it over and over again. Okay, okay. Turn one wall. They didn't have a wall on turn one. An opponent for, for, uh, ooh. Is there a way that they can kill this Fable before I discard? Why play Fable? Maybe they have like Dragon's Fire or something. Cathartic Fire. Are they just missing blue mana? They have blue mana. Solve the equation? Are they, are they a mill deck? Invoke Calamity. All right, here's where they play like Cinderclasm. Still better for me to make a two-two though. Make gotta make them have it, chat. You have Cinderclasm or do you not have it? I guess if they have Cinderclasm, I can still discard this chariot with this blood token, and then get the chariot back and do the same exact thing we just did. They're saying nice, so I say thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, it doesn't let me say thank you. That is a Snarl Gamer. Ah, cast your Invoke Calamity now, opponent. Uh, they could still have Cinderclasm. Unfortunate. Meat Hook. Would be very powerful. Before Cinderclasm. Just play it. They will play Cinderclasm. Elsar, what's up? I mean, if they don't play Cinderclasm, they're beyond dead. If 
So they die? Maybe they have, like, double fading hope? Both search. Let's count. Two, four, six, seven, four is eleven. They're still dead. Meat hook for two. Let's go! Goodbye. Did we kill them on turn four? It was our turn five. Their turn four. All right, Jamers. Thanks for watching. I really hope you like this style of deck and the mid-range game plan that this represents, being able to kill our control opponents while also having a combo kill. As you saw in that last match, where we was able to kill them, where we were able to kill them on turn five with the Grease Fang Chariot, even through them having a little bit of interaction for us in that in that two mana removal spell uh, for our Fable. But um, other than that. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to check out one of my other uh, one of my other decks, check it out right over here in just a couple seconds. But feel free to subscribe or like the, or like the video if you'd like to see more of my content and you like sticking around and hanging out. If you made it this far, you're the top five percent of Jametown. So welcome aboard to Jametown. I'm happy to have you here. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, peace.